YouTube. <clears throat> well, I'm out here in the woods. I'm not really in the woods often. Down here in Houston. We have a lot of bayous, and that's why I'm right now at the bayou near my house. It's not the prettiest view, but I'll see all around me. There's my beast over there. Guy! Guy! Come here, boy! Whoa. <laughs> I'm out here with the sky. I'm out here with um, my imported briar apple, bent apple. This is a very nice plant. I like it. I love it. My only concern is it draws a little tight. That's because of the condenser. You get a lot more smoke. I don't get that much smoke with the pipe. But I do not mind. Anyway, put this back together. So this is the first pipe I'm testing out of all of them. <coughs> so far, this turned out very well. I think I finally packed it too tight as well. The bowl on this pipe is not that big. That's fine, I tend not to smoke that much. Anyway, I'm very pleased. Of course I will try out the other ones. Hopefully they'll give me better results. I can use matches pretty much anywhere. There he is. Guy! Guy! Oh, he's all the way down there. Anyway. Are there any, I want to ask the pipe community, what do you recommend in the ways of English blends, burleys and such like that? Because I'm only familiar with aromatics. I've never had a burley, never had anything with burley, a little bit of Latakia, and um, Mostly just aromatics, Cavendish, and stuff like that. No Virginias. I've never had them. I've had, had uh, Turkish, though. I've had, had Middle Eastern type tobaccos. With um, Turkish blends, some. Um, Israeli blends as well. And I've had that <coughs> sorry. And I've had, had some Asian blends as well. Mostly Japanese. But in the ways of um, English blends very strong type and very strong things like that I've never had. So if any of you guys could um, give me some recommendations on it, you know, I'd be most obliged. It's starting to get late out here. The time right now is um, 
and I usually come here every day with my dog. Every day from around what new from about eight to nine. Get to walk and look at all of this. It's some wonderful out here. And he's still down there, he's having a lot of fun. I just walk him down here, and I always stop here. Either a pipe or a cigar, mostly pipes. And I just play with him for a bit. So oh, yeah, I'm up for any recommendations. As for any other blanket pipes, I would love to know what you guys recommend. Yeah, I had some houses there. The bridge. Connecting this bayou to the road is right there. That's where the lights are. That's the bridge. It's a old cast iron bridge from the from the fifties. It's an old cast iron bridge from like the forties or fifties. And um, let's see if we can try and find Sky right here. There he is. Here he comes. <laughs> Who's a good boy? We gotta get going, okay? So I'll have to leash you back over, alright? Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign out for now. And, uh, hope to see you guys again. A little bit of a problem. I don't know if you can hear that. It's a little bit of a gurgle. I think it's just the slight blend and uh, the slight bend in the condenser. They probably should put a filter in it. Maybe a wood filter. I don't know. I'll see what it comes up. I'll keep experimenting with these pipes. Alright. Alright, I'm back from my walk. And I think I'm gonna do a quick review on this pipe. Well, I'm doing filming this in a studio because I want to make this professional, but the pipe what it looks like now the ported briar and uh, <clears throat> this is actually the first pipe that I've ever smoked that had a condenser in it thoughts on it well um, I just cleaned this pipe out, and wow, this this is just, it's very, very messy. Pipe cleaner through the inside, and all that stuff, and that's one flaw with it. First off, I had a lot of gurgle with this pipe. And that's just because of the condenser. It, it doesn't, the moisture just collects in there. So I'm thinking that I would need to put a filter or something in it. Just to keep the moisture, just to absorb the moisture. All the condenser does is just keeps it from going to the stem of the mouthpiece. But it accumulates all of it in here. And then I get a hissing when I smoke it. It didn't do it at first, and then when the and when it actually started building up, yeah. Now I had to wipe it one time when I was smoking it, and then again when I got home. So that's one problem. I mean, I'm I guess it it works fine. The draw is it doesn't hinder the draw, but I'm not a big fan of the condenser, but yeah, it's fine. I I can I can live with it. I ain't gonna have to live with it because they're as you see, there is no other way to put the pipe, to put this, to attach the stem to this pipe without using a condenser. The condenser is the screw that holds the stem to the pipe. 
anyway, <clears throat> it works fine. It was very cool smoke. And by cool, cool to the touch. It's not that compact, but it's good enough. The bowl is very small. It's not a very deep bowl. So you don't leave like, like just this half of my finger fits in there, and that's fine. I don't tend to. I don't smoke that much. I don't smoke a lot. I mean, even with my other pipes, I usually just fill it like maybe about halfway. But for this occasion, I packed it as much as I could. Oh, no, for this bowl, I packed it as much as I could because I knew it was a smaller bowl. <clears throat> but I'm going to keep smoking it. And for now, i got to say, yeah, it's kind of in the middle. It's not the best, but it's not that bad. It, 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 it does pretty good. It works pretty well. It still has some f flaws that I need to tinker with. <clears throat> and hopefully soon I get a perfect smoke out of this pipe. I mean, every single pipe I've had, I've had to do some type of adjustment to it in order to get a good smoke. Other than the Meerschaum pipe, which now was just ready to go. Anyway. Uh, thanks, this is a review of the little imported briar bent apple and yes I will be keeping this one for myself I think this is what I'll do I'll try them all and see which ones I will keep if not I keep all of them oh I hope my brother ain't listening I'm saying that because he originally wanted me to just keep one and sell the rest but I don't think that would be the case. Plus, another thing, I'm trying to convince him to start putting up videos. But the difference with being in him is that he's more of a cigar guy and I'm more of a pipe guy. So, I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated when he does start posting videos. Alright, thanks.